what are some other crazy shit that women have done throughout history in the name of you know maintaining their beauty beauty or catfishing as it is now commonly called and there's even more crazy shit than i thought this is this is nuts so you just go down the list and there's pictures for almost all of these a full-faced swimming mask helped protect women's skin from the sun in the 1920s <laughs> that's weird <laughs> Oh, oh that's, that's like a portable glory hole right there. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> portable hair dryer. My mother and grandmother had one of these. Portable. I think I have seen one of these before. Uh, my, my grandma had one. Huh. I remember. Uh, we I traveled with them once. And yeah. Literally, she would do her hair and put it up in a beehive and dry it with it, something like that. That's the Marge Simpson hair dryer. Yes. Right there. <laughs> Faceless beauty contest in Cliftonvale, 1936. Now I'm going to be honest. I'm 100% behind this yeah. because you know. personality. Well, well, first of all, <laughs> if you don't look at the face, you, you have to like really just focus on the body. Yeah, she and, would make good lasagna. Yeah. Can't cook. <laughs> <It's just laughs> Pretty <out>. much. <laughs> then, you, then you take off the the mask, and then you do that. You know, you uh, average it out. Yeah, because some women have they're really beautiful. They have like nine, ten looks in the face. And there are four or five in the body. And then there's the butter faces where you yeah. get the inverse. You got oh, the inverse, yeah. To maybe average, below average face. And then you have like a nine or 10 from the neck. Down. Yeah, I've actually dated a couple of uh, butter faces. It wasn't too bad. Yeah, not too bad. You can turn the lights out. I know, right? You know? Young woman holds her arms and legs in four water baths with an electric current to improve blood circulation <laughs> circa 1938. All right. What could go? Just get in the tub and throw the toaster in. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that doesn't work. What could go wrong? <laughs> It'll definitely be forever young. <laughs> Woman tans using a suntan vending machine, 1949. Oh, <laughs> what? All right. Hang on a minute. That's a, that's a spray on tan. I think yeah. Trump has one of these in his bedroom. I was going to yeah. say the orange man special. <laughs> that's spray on. Oh, that's a great one. You have a beautiful face, but your nose. So apparently this contraption right here. We'll reshape your nose for you. Uh, it looks like the, the dude should have had this in the emergency room for the chick with the cottage cheese pussy. Uh, if you're not oh, happy God. with your nose, just go to the bar, <laughs> drink some fuck you we're fighting right now, and you'll get it. <laughs> your beak, beak adjusted for you. Uh, well, he's is, not wrong. No. Put it on the Jews and see what shakes lose. <laughs> I don't know. I've seen quite a few, uh, you know, reconstructions happen in bars. Uh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Also, too. you know, dental, dental adjustments, too. The bra claimed to develop and strengthen the bust was designed to vibrate while the person wearing it was at work. All 1971. Right. Okay. That's uh, weird. And at the worst, you know, it's just. Now, uh, what do you see in that picture? I, I see a hypnotic spiral. Well, I see women who are not fat. No, there's that too. Oh yeah, yeah. those women important. are not fat. Here we go. French breast washer. <laughs> <laughs> Got to keep them titties clean. You could just let us take care of it for you. I'm just saying. Oh, that is just bizarre, right there. <laughs> it really is. What the hell? I can only imagine. Oh. Rita Perchetti and Gloria Rossi trying out new portable bathhouse so they can change their clothes after sunbathing on Coney Island Beach in 1938. Okay. okay. Isn't that Daniel's costume from the Karate Kid? Uh, kind of. <laughs> um, well, you yeah. can also put up a tent and just change Right. It. Do that. Yeah. X-ray of a female torso with a corset left compared to one without it on the right. That huh. just looks... Well, there was a lot of women who like really screwed their bodies up with those corsets mm -hmm. because oh. that impacts all your internal organs. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's that's messed up stuff right there. Yeah, that's that's no uh uh. I imagine that stuff like was it Pirates of the Caribbean, Kira Knightley? Yeah, like, yeah. Of course, it's so damn tight she falls off the castle oh, wall. Yeah. 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 I imagine that kind of thing happened a lot. It did. That's why they said fainting couches. No, there you go. Jeez. Rubber beauty masks used to get rid of wrinkles in the 1920s, otherwise Man, known this as. This is like. I was going to say, this is Slipknot. Shit, like... I was just going to say, bring out the gimp. The gimp. <laughs> You're just going to have to wake him up now, won't you? <laughs> <laughs> A perm in Germany in 1929. 
what the hell is that? This looks like a freeze wow. frame from lost footage from Metropolis. That reminds me of the, the show The Monsters. <laughs> wow. Wow. Contestants in the Miss Lovely Eyes beauty pageant in Florida wearing masks to obscure the rest of their faces. The Hannibal Lecter masks? Hello, Clarice. <laughs> right? That's exactly what it, it looks like. Clarice. Wow. I think they're having an old friend for dinner. Like the first time I saw that movie, when he said that, Clarice, uh, like literally, it was like, Ugh. humanity dimple is machine. frightening. There you go. <laughs> the dimple machine. Dimples made to order. <laughs> <laughs> two tiny knobs which press into the cheeks. You could probably take two dicks and accomplish the same thing, and it might be more fun. <laughs> I don't even understand why people back then thought dimples were like cute or something. I don't know. Yeah, they can be, but I mean, there's oh. a difference between dimples and pits. Is that a fucking clothes iron? An actual clothes iron, yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Wow. Ironing hair. I did this in the 90s, so it lasted a while. <laughs> Freckle remo what the shit? What the hell is that? It looks like Alex, Alex DeLarge is getting force fed like negative imagery. Wow. What the hell are they doing? A clockwork orange you glad we don't do this shit to you anymore. Wow. Right? Wow. Complicated apparatus is employed. Eyes are covered with a special airtight piece. Nostrils filled in. Breathing is done through a special tube that looks like a cack. Sensitive parts of the face must be treated separately. So they're, they're obviously using some type of caustic chemical oh, to bad. bleach that shit off your face. I guess. God. Taking precise measurements of a beautiful young woman's head and face with a contraption like an instrument of torture. I was going to say this looks like a behind-the-scenes shot from Saw. Yeah. Or Hellraiser. Or the Jesus. Iron Maiden from yeah. the Middle Ages. They used to put you in there and have all the yeah. stick in your skin. And this shit. doctor's like, we have such sights to show you. Um, <laughs> wooden swimsuits. All right. Okay. Nat Natalie Wood could have used that in the 80s. Yeah, yeah. That would have been bad. Facial warming mat. Okay. It looks like Pac-Man. Now you're just fucking with me at this point. <laughs> looks like a, side, a, like a profile of Pac-Man. What the hell? I eat ghosts and balls. <laughs> <laughs> Max Factors 1931. What the shit? Wow. What is that? Just well, go whitewash yourself in the snow. <laughs> well, first of is all, ice cubes? I, yes. yes. Well, you freeze them because they're in those little containers and then you slap it on your face. Wow. That is I, the most recorded thing I've ever seen. I've never, I don't even know that was a thing, man. <laughs> Shit, man. The, this was Max Factor's invention. Max Factor, you know, everyone just knows the brand name now. They were, he himself personally was actually the makeup dude on I Love Lucy. Yep. Like the, the, this dude was, was no joke in the biz. And listen, back then when they tested that shit on animals, it was no joke. Oh yeah. <laughs> There were some evil motherfuckers, man. Yeah, PETA may have had a beef back then, not so much anymore. Uh, customers have their legs painted at a store in Croydon, London, 1941. We Eight. paint your stockings on your legs. All shades, $3 per leg. Oh, but, but here's the thing. <laughs> that was during World War II. They didn't have nylons. It was a luxury item. Oh, yeah. Mm. Right. Uh, point, uh, point taken. Yep. Tapeworm diet. Yeah. They used to actually do that. Infect yourself with a tapeworm to lose weight. Oh, sanitized tapeworms. Is there such a thing? Well, technically, once you have the tapeworms introduced to your you know, body, they secrete a chemical which tones down the reaction of your immune system so they can live longer. Yes. So, I mean, there's something to the whole, you know, parasite. Uh, yeah. You know, and the only therapy. way that you can get it out without surgery is to literally starve yourself. Oh, a tapeworm? Yes. And then you have to, once you've starved yourself long enough to where the, the parasite is nutrient deficient, you can coax it out by, and I shit you not, literally boiling milk and then inhaling what? The tapeworm will sense the nutrients and literally uh, start uh, to come out your no, fucking I don't, I don't, I don't know. Nope. About <laughs> I, I mean, I, I've uh, I've seen nope. the videos. It's really damn disturbing. Yeah, I've heard uh, I've heard different ways, like using uh, tobacco juice. All of a sudden, they're like, oh, 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 and then they just start pulling this fucking thing out of their mouth nope. like it's a magic. Listen, trick. man, I'm telling you, uh, this, 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 your life is never will never be the same once you see Ooh, a butt worm. Oh, this is bad. Once you see a butt worm. What the shit is this? this? No idea. This looks like a musical instrument from Mad Max Fury Road. Well, that's the 1920s, though. <laughs> 1920s hairdryer. Yeah. Oh, wait. No one of those things blows so many circuit breakers. 
a woman having a seam painted onto her leg to make it appear that she's wearing stockings, 1926. Yep. All right. Wow. Were they such a luxury item that you had to fake it? Well, during 1926 was the Great Depression. So oh, yeah. Ju just know. about, yeah. They fake a lot. Women who had just given birth to a baby weren't prohibited to smoke in the hospital. And <laughs> light them up, great ladies. A cigarette just sticking up between her fingers on the back of the kids. Cigarette ash burning a hole in He'll the back of the baby. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Lucky strike. <laughs> That's what Philip Morris. Call for Philip. Uh -huh. <laughs> They actually took out all of the Philip Morris advertisements because I Love Lucy was almost exclusively sponsored by yeah. Philip Morris. That's I why they're to... always smoking on that show. Yeah, my mother used to smoke Tarantins. And oh. I, I remember... Like, they don't even being... make those anymore, do they? I, I don't know. I remember like when I was 9 or 10, coming home from school, my mother, would, would, on her <laughs> day off, would be out there sun tanning, And she'd give me money and go, give me a couple packs of cigarettes. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I literally walked to the gas station <laughs> like, hey, my mom needs some cigarettes. Oh, what kind? Okay. Uh, she needs those kind of territons. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then, no questions asked. You hand over the yeah. money. You walk out with cigarettes. I remember doing that. Yeah. yeah. Virginia Slim and Ultra Light 100s. My mom, yeah. Same. You some, 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 some spoke the same stuff. Yep. I'm just saying that Hollywood could take tips from uh, 1920s, 1930s uh, women's beauty secrets because they're fucking horror filmmakers right there. Yeah, oh, no God. kidding. I mean, look at this. I wonder why there weren't as many uh, lumpy liver liquors back then, because this was like a sneak preview of <laughs> what it would be like. <laughs> yeah. And listen, putting uh, fruit or cucumbers or whatever on your face is nothing new. They've no. been doing that since That's old school. ancient, ancient times. An ankle competition. All right. Shocker. Okay. Before the invention of sunscreen in the 40s, bathers wore garments like this freckle-proof cape to protect themselves from the sun. Casper the Lady Ghost. Wow. Yeah. Now with polka dots. Yeah. <laughs> You've heard of Islam? This is Jislam. <laughs> <laughs> 10th century oh, Chinese yeah. tradition foot binding. Oh, that's one of the worst. Oh, this that is terrible is, shit. That oh, is so oh. messed up. I don't yeah. know why they find that attractive. Well, that look, is look at that one on the right there. Look at those toes. I know. Oh, that is so kind of jacked. Just excruciating. Ugh. Traditional Japanese sign of beauty from the 17th to 19th centuries, black teeth. Yep. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. mm. That's kind of nasty. Sign me up. Yeah. I always love it when my woman looks like she's just given a blowjob <laughs> to a squid. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it really makes you ink, don't it? <laughs> oh. God. Very funny. Yeah, it's pretty good, man. Pretty good. There. Watch Grunt Speak Live every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. And if you want to join Pop for Supporter Sundays, go to redonkulous.com slash donate and make a monthly pledge. A link is in the meat gazer box.